<laughs> Thank you, Snow. <laughs> Ten months. Also, howdy. So it's time for you to get back to Metal Gear Monday. Okay. You enjoy. How am I? I'm a little tired today, but other than that, I'm fine. You enjoy the Metal Gear. We'll talk at you later. I don't know. This game gets a little weird. I wouldn't call it soothing. I'd call it perplexing. But at least it doesn't make me frustrated. <laughs> it's just weird. Okay, you do that. We'll talk at you later. Have a good one. I don't know what's left to do here in the castle. I think I know how to become the king. And so gain the strength to lift out the Henry rifle. And it's not here. I thought it was going to be in the castle. But it's not here. What does mine inventory look like? Alright, silver bullets. Got it. I remember that. Crossbow that we haven't found ammo for yet. Uh, so overstock supply key. Don't remember what that's for. Dynamite, of course. Never found a use for the championship belt or this Wiccan amulet. Pretty sure we don't need to carry around the ruby key anymore.
Um, probably don't need the swan dress. We've had this the entire game. That was like the first item we ever picked up. But I may as well just keep carrying it at this point. I don't think we're going to need Emerald Key. What do you say? Oh, right. I had a message for Cal. That's why I've been carrying around this. Save Cal, my hamster. So maybe we're keeping an eye out for a hamster? Maybe. Let's keep that there. I fell asleep. Apparently it's time for bed. Had a nice I still nap on that rug. But we should we should take a nap. I think we should take a legit sleep. Oh, here's Henley. I think his name is Henley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that's Henley's bed. So at night time. Oh. There's other people here. Nighttime, these specters dance around in the ballroom. Okay. Oh, let's carry. My job is to shoot first. Might have noticed that about me. Oh goodness, Andre! <laughs> Thanks for the follow and uh, the raid follow. Oh my god, what am I talking about? Uh oh, something happened here. Thanks, howdy everybody from Andre's stream. We're all doing some salmon's, I think. Is it a? It's a new rotation now, I think. Right, right, right. On. Oh, the new, it's a new rotation on the bay. Right, right. I remember now. Now it's later, and I suppose y'all are asking the question. Truth, there isn't always an answer, as far as I can see. These people got a lot more to say than what they used to say. Hi, Jim. How's it going? <laughs> sure thing. I, uh... I got close to opening up that third emote slot for the tier one, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a nudge. So I threw a few guest subs out there. Happy to have everybody here. And I suppose the truth's a messy thing, right or wrong. Aren't quite boxes we can put things in. Sometimes I think the best policy is never to be too sure about things. Yeah, I think I'll make that my other policy. Well, shooting first isn't exactly my policy, just sort of happens. That's interesting. These people are a lot more... have a lot more to say. Also, they appear to be a little transparent. Sticks his tongue out and runs off. Well, he did run off. He did do that. Here's Carrington. Bye, Messer. Okay, bye. Actually, hold on. Actually, you're not going to say anything worth worth reading, I don't believe. Uh, this is Garrett. Rap still, the music of the street, beat poets, fittest of the fit, come from the ghetto, so you know it's legit. Alright, man, we're rapping now. Harmony ain't quite the ghetto, but it's close. So, these are all the people that I ran into in Strange, Texas. But now they're here. 
is transparent apparitions. Howdy, bird. How's it going? What in the world are you talking about? <laughs> what in the world are you talking about? Here's Tuesday. Uh, Garrett still calls me his bitch, so I guess that's it. This bitch is not so bad. My goodness, the language. Worse would be if he didn't love me. You might not always understand all of his words, but they mean something, so listen for once. Okay. Not, I'm not sure I uh, appreciate your sass, but... Okay. Did the same Garrett who shot Billy the Kid? I don't believe so. I don't think so. We have but one job in this world, it is to love. But how, that is what we do not always know. I thought I loved, but instead I merely dreamed. From all dreams we must one day awake. Hmm. That's interesting. Because he's always so lovey-dovey talking about Lorna here. But all of a sudden he... It's talking about waking up from that dream. Really, the squid would be a good platoon name. I'm surprised I haven't seen that before, actually. Now that you mention it. I knew job was support my I knew my job was support my family, but my desire was something else. This is how this is what I know now know. Desire is no terrible thing unless choked. We must have our cake in this life and eat it too. Otherwise we cannot love. What do you got to say about Byron? Not much. Okay, then. And you? That is the same person. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Emily. Okay, this is Emily from Down in the Cave. I think I'll become a writer. I am, after all, real. As, ask Ben about that. The point is, I was a nice person. I may have been a little disturbed. But if on some level isn't everybody? More or less. Now here's Ben. This music is really rather good. It's not bad. I was a composer of classical music. I am a real person. This is starting to sound like the Talos Principle, huh? I know, it sounds positively ludicrous to assert that. Don't hold it against me, okay? Look, if you like, I'll prove that I'm an alright person. My role here in this ballroom is to assure you that I am completely fictional recreation of myself and not at all representative of who I was. Okay. Fair enough, I'm actually a nice person. I don't remember you being otherwise. I have some magical sheet music among other things. However, for you to use it, you'll need to grow your musicality somewhat. There are cassette tapes lying variously around. If you find one, there's a subtle effect whether you realize it or not. Your musicality is enhanced. Your musicality right now is 25. For comparison, mine is 875. Good job. Oh, I got something. Simply write the name of the minuet in the space at the top and the notes will appear. You can play it on a keyboard instrument. It's like any other sheet music. Again, this is magical sheet music. Okay. Waiting for you to write in a title. Uh, right? <laughs> you write in, write menu. <laughs> Soon after writing on the title, musical notes appear magically on the page. Right minuet. Okay. Uh, let's just call it Texas. Can we rewrite? I can't. Okay. Well, that's very interesting. Okay, this is Charles. Of all of... All of oh, God. Get it together. Of all us three real persons, I am perhaps the least like myself. Okay, if you must know, I was actually something of a philanthropist. How I ended up such a jerk is really a mystery. 
Every author knows one thing for certain. A good story has good characters. I suppose I was invented to fulfill a role. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Why are these people here? Thank you for helping us. What did I do? All those years I was collecting silver for my own enjoyment. Something precious and beautiful that is sometimes reduced to its mere monetary worth. I don't mind at all that you spent some of it to smite Mammon. I haven't smoked Mammon yet. Mammon is a beast that needs to be kept in check. We all rely on it, but it can develop a mind of its own, too. I suppose it's an eternal struggle. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Nope. No clue. Why is Twitch Mobile so awful? I don't know. I don't really use Twitch Mobile that much. I mean, I do, but... <clears throat> I mainly just use it to preview a channel before I raid it. <laughs> so, Mammon is Canoe? Mammon could be Canoe. I mean, we haven't seen Mammon yet, so I don't know. Mammon causes, uh... Mammon causes meteors to fall down from the sky. Is that a thing Canoe does? What separates a mechanic from an inventor? A mechanic is like a servant to the owner. But we all have our own ideas, and it's important to get a chance to implement them. I'm glad of my invention. I'm glad if my invention helped you somehow. I don't know that you could say you invented the catapult, though. I mean, you built one, but I don't think you invented the catapult. Some might say I don't have a right to wax philosophical about a catapult. That's exactly what I just said. But in fact, there is a lot to think about there. I wonder if one day somebody will load it up with flaming acid and kill children with it. Excuse me. Okay. Wow, I hadn't thought of that. Well, it served a good purpose so far. I hope it's destroyed one day before it could fall into evil hands. Let's talk about something else, cowboy. Alright, let's talk about nothing at all. Here's, uh, Farnley and Amber Jill. <clears throat> I think Canoe's Wrath could summon meteors like Sephiroth or Final Fantasy VII. I don't remember doing that in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played Final Fantasy VII. Forming relationships is hard. All got expectations and things we bring with us. Expectations. I guess one of life's little lessons is moderating those. That and patience equal parts of life. We're all just human after all. Most of us. Take a deep breath. Life life is a dance, yeah. Look below, even ghosts can be happy. Even ghosts can let go of ghosts. I seen them. I saw. You had to stop Meteor in Final Fantasy VII. I vaguely recollect that. Like I said, it's been a long, long time. I haven't played it since shortly after release. Uh, all those years, Randolph and I were trying for children. You might think I have regrets since we never had our own. I don't. You can't control what life brings you. You can look at what you don't have all the time, but that's selfish. Randolph and I had a wonderful life together. Lucky in many ways. A lot of these people are talking in past tense. I think these people are dead. The world has no shortage of children. It's a love that's sometimes hard to find. Work can stress this all out, can't it? To tell you the truth, I'm not much good at anything. Make lots of mistakes, but does it matter? I suppose it does. Sometimes it does, I suppose, but usually a job is not just a job and it's not the end of the world. I suppose that is unless you're operating a nuclear submarine. Well, they could have consequences. I'm not sure it's world ending consequences. But... Here's Matilda. You're probably hoping I can make some sense of things for you. Well, that ain't happening. 
Lartan isn't such a bad one, cowboy. It's true. When he banished that beast in... Uh, when he banished that beast in it thrust the whole town into purgatory. But that's its nature. Not really grabbing the pros here, but okay. Everything both depends on the beast and is ruined by it. Everything both depends on the beast and is ruined by it. Okay. And finally, we got Zartan here. That's a sentence, I guess. I guess. I suppose. Oh, you've watched some Let's Plays more recently. Of the new one or the original? I don't think the new one gets that far into the story, does it? It's for my castle once. Oh, this was your castle once. Okay. Machines Inventions. It's on your inventions. Okay. Okay, gotcha. One day, something terrible appeared. Once machines pass a certain level of efficiency, yeah, once past efficiency threshold, beast appeared. Under the threshold, no beast. Above, beast take on life of its own. The limit off. Minute. No. Still don't know. Okay, I only understood about half of that. The original, I refuse to have anything to do with the reimagining bollocks. I refuse to have anything to do with... Oh, everybody's gone now. I guess the ghost hour has passed. We were we were lucky to be here when the ghosts were here. Oh, there's still a... Oh, it's Laugh. I can talk to him through the wall. It took a long time. Bolts, yeah, where's the bolts? They are $50 for 45 bolts. My profit is only $5, depending on the size of your stacks. How much money do I have? They are only they're spectral, so they may only work in purgatory. Well, at least I'm honest. Deal. Yeah, I, I am a bit short on cash right now. Okay. Well, we know to talk through the wall to laugh here. To get bolts for the crossbow now. Three AM is the witching hour. Ghosts are everywhere then in her life too. I wouldn't know. I I don't know the last time I was awake at three AM. You know what? I want those bolts. Let's go get us some cash. I only have twelve dollars. Let us hope the bank still stands. Oh, wait a minute. did anything. I wonder if you need to find some other word. Oh well. We tried it. Oh, we don't want to be here yet. That's where Mammon is. Uh, I want to go to the bank. Here we go. Meteor's falling outside, but we're safely inside the bank. Uh, give me a hundred bucks. This, my card back. Now, time to make a run for it. So I guess I found 25 of those tapes, according to that guy in the castle. According to the castle ghost. Hmm. 
Now, I don't know how many cassette tapes there are. But that seems like a lot. I mean, how many different pieces of music can there be in this game? Hey? Alright, Laugh. Give me your... He's, he's flapping behind in the wall there. I don't... I don't know if I should bother him while he's flapping, but... I do want the bolts. <laughs> About forty five crossbow bolts for fifty bucks. That seems like a deal. And we can't quit change to that. I don't know what good these crossbow bolts are. All right, so back to our original quest. We're supposed to get the Henry rifle, load it up with silver bullets, and shoot Mammon with it. To get the Henry rifle, we have to convince it that we're the king. At the very beginning of the game, this area here was covered up in fallen rocks. It took me a good while of looking around randomly to discover that this was no longer covered up with rocks. I don't remember seeing anywhere that things that were once covered up in rocks are no longer covered up in rocks. I have to convince a rifle that you're a key? No, a king. K-I-N-G. I have to convince the rifle in the stone that I'm a king allowing me to pull the rifle from the stone although I guess you could I guess you could say that is a key of sorts since I'm I'm opening up access to something all right so how do we become the king well, there's something up here that makes us the key. Something here in Graceland. Now we're the king. In memory of the king. I thought America was a republic. America is a republic. But it, had, it has had its royalty of sorts. I hope this is enough. I haven't actually tried it. I just found it. <laughs> and I found it ridiculous that to convince a rifle that we're the king, we gotta dress up like Elvis Presley. I like the glitter effect though. We're very shiny now. All right, let's go get our rifle, I hope. Get out of here. I'm too lizard. All right, rifle. Give me your secrets. It's happening. What?
I don't I don't see it. Rock has been completely demolished. There it is. Behold the legendary Henry rifle. The Henry rifle will shoot only silver bullets and can kill almost anything in one shot. Oh no, trapped in the sacred realm for seven years. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds terrible. But its grace ability is locked within its primer. It holds that power to slow down time itself. No. Carry. You already got it. If you want to equip it, click your inventory button and get it. Gotcha. Put it here. Oh, look at that. We got a slowdown when it's loaded. That's what happens in Ocarina of Time when the legendary blade was pulled. Oh, I missed that part. All right, I guess it's time for, oh, you stupid. Lizard, oh, that'll learn you. Time for a showdown with Mammon. And hopefully this doesn't go too poorly. He should be here in Market Square. And there he is, the big pig. We destroy and demolish crush. I'm the master of creative destruction. I will wreck everything they made. What? Cowboy, are you to challenge me? You can't destroy me. I make it all happen. I am God, man. I'm like the second worst no alternative non solution to a problem that never existed. So buzz off. Oh, jeez, I dropped it. That was quick. I think he farted on me. Oh my god. This is going really poorly. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. Jeez! He, he kicked me into the stratosphere. I think I think Mammon is gonna win. Carry. All right. Okay, it's fine. I got knocked into the next area, but it's fine. Uh, I dropped the Henry rifle, and now there's another enemy here. This is not going well. Alright, let's try again, shall we? Scene again. I don't think we need to see all that. Uh, wow, okay. Give me a second. Go, go, go. 
Come on, let's go. Oh, man. Why is your giant pig gun trying to destroy everything? Man. It's it's some kind of metaphorical stuff that I, I don't understand. I also don't understand... I guess this thing's got a super short range. Oh, jeez. Come on, get away from that rifle so I can grab it. Come on, get it. Carry it. Hammond spawned a bandit. It's Hammond, not Mammon. Okay. <laughs> Keep walking outside of the area. That's no good. Oh my god, really? Just, just, come on, let me, let me, what in the world is going on? My goodness. Look, I, I need the rifle, people. Just give it to me. Oh, my God. <laughs> my goodness. Ah, okay. Apparently, there is some... some method that I'm not aware of that needs to be done here. Just, I just need to... Look, all I have is a mouse, okay? <laughs> oh, boy. I can only move the mouse so fast. Uh, are you going to let me hit this? I really need this rifle. Oh my god. Look. Carry. Okay. That's three mouse clicks to get this thing to do anything. Okay, let me let me get it off here. Oh, I need some cooking utensils. Okay, this that. Also, if I move at all, it puts the weapon away. So I have to remain perfectly still. And is this the limit of my range? Is that it? For a rifle? Are you kidding? Or do I just need to put the dot on? Okay, he's... Oh, he's... What? What just happened? Okay, it, it only lasted for a very short time. Look. I'm... I'm looking. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Okay. Despite it slowing down time, I don't have very long to do whatever it is I'm supposed to do. Uh, that didn't do it. Oh, 
Okay. 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 Can I get out of here now? I'm trying to move. Uh, it's not responding. Okay, here we go. I got one bullet left. I fired it right at him. So putting the red dot on him doesn't do it. Okay, I gotta go get more ammunition. I am flesh out. So I guess this is the limit of my range. I had the red dot on him. And it did nothing. So timing is really important. And also something I'm really bad at. Let's pull out... How much money do I have? Thank you so much, Meteor. Uh, let's get 200 bucks. I don't remember how much the silver bullets are. I guess I should have sold some of that gold when I had the chance, because I can't now. Maybe somebody, maybe somebody back in the cave has some clue that will help me out here. seeing how this works right off the top. Alright. Got any more of them silver bullets? I know you do, they're right there. Finally. <laughs> Dang it. Let's buy one. Let's buy another. Hopefully this- wait, I'm gonna talk to people in the cave, that's right. There's Charles. You got anything helpful to say? Okay, no, that's exactly the same thing you said last time. Right, the beast. Right. 
mammon. Right, right, much more serious problem. Okay, but you can't shoot for some reason. Why are your pants on fire? I am the king, sir. I'm wearing the king's raiments. A legend they believe will save us. Uh, the Henry rifle and silver bullets can slay anything, sure, but I can't hit anything with it. Listen up. Listen. Trigger on selling silver bullets, right? I understand that. It's only the first part. I've already got the first. Okay, you'll need to get the other. I got it. It's right here. Don't. Okay, right. We should be able to slay the pig. Good luck. That doesn't help. something about some kind of metal something you could wear go hit with the range or something maybe I should go back and read that stuff why can't you hit anything it's there's a big fat pig there's Hammond I gotta kill Hammond <laughs> and uh, I don't know how to hit him Supposedly this rifle with a silver bullet, which I've got, can one hit kill anything. But also it slows down time. Now here it slows down time indefinitely. The pig can sort of negate that, apparently. Because... He'll start jumping at me. And the time dilation stops. It just completely stops. And he hits me before I can even blink. No, it's not supposed to be a nod to Ganon. It's supposed to be a nod to Mammon, which is the uh, name of a devil, I believe. Have I gone too far? No, I haven't. Let's go to dungeon. Green puffs are jiggling. Oh. Now this is blocked. That's great. So, uh, some entrances which were blocked are no longer blocked, and some areas that were not blocked are now blocked. Makes total sense. Okay, are you... Oh, it's you, bro. Hi. I've been reassigned to guard the castle. 
Not much to do, really. The porculus is locked, and they smashed the catapult. Also, a bunch of debris that caved in, in the basement. You'll never get in there now. Too bad, because that's where Zartan is. The other guys I wouldn't help, so they made me stand guard. It's so stupid, bro. I do know one thing that might help. Oh, God, please tell me. Okay, yeah, I've heard about it. Right. The king. They said there were four straw guardians protecting the entrance of the king's burial palace. <laughs> Guess it would have to be underground somewhere. Okay, so this is your... This is your, uh, your clue. So you have to knock down some those targets. But I already had them knocked down, so that's why it just spontaneously opened, I guess. Uh, right. Exactly. I'm sure new caverns have opened up just like some have closed up. Seems likely that underground... Entrance is underground. Maybe it was closed before, but open now. Have we seen blocked off entrances anywhere else? I can't get in there. Oh, come on. Come on. Silly slime. So they were blocked. What? This is kind of annoying. Sometimes, after you get held by a slime, the controls lock up and you can't move. And sometimes they don't. Okay, so as far as I can tell, I got everything I need. And... Hammond doesn't even have to hit me. All he's got to do is smack into the ground. And I drop my rifle. So, I'm not real sure. There's something I have to do that I'm not doing, right? Go at it again, I guess. Did that witch use the pentagram to summon a sheriff? I don't know that she used it to summon a sheriff. I don't know that she used... I never saw her using it. I mean, I did notice the sheriff pentagram. Him spawned a bandit. Alright. That's not good. Okay. This is what's happening. Rifle. So I need to pick the rifle back up. Also, I'm getting shot by the bandit. Oh, I have shot. Trust me. I've spent three bullets shooting already. And it does nothing. I think I have to wait until he's within range. And I think the end of this symbol right here is the range. I fired at him three times with the red dot on Mammon, and it did nothing. Problem is, like, as soon as he gets... Thank you. 
as soon as he gets, like right here, this time dilation stops and he just automatically hits me. So, I don't know when is the point I need to shoot. Um, I've got two bullets. Currently. I went back and bought two more. I've attempted this three times. Shooting him three times, and... I don't know why it didn't hit him. I don't need to save. But I've got to save. Okay. Man. <laughs> okay. Carry. Okay. Okay, that got him, finally. Hey, I mean, for I am Mammon, who rewards but does not judge. Howdy, Canoe, how's it going? I guess... Hitting him is just really finicky. I don't know. Trust in me, for I sustain all dreams. Hey, money. It's money. Should I take this money? Why not? Take it. Take the dollar. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Well, good news for me. I just got a promotion. I know you're just a visitor here, but you should know one thing. I'm the new czar. See ya. Okay, well, congratulations. I hope that works out for you. Don't question me as to my job. I'm Sawyer. Sawyer is strange. Okay, things just got weirder. need to leave three dollars laying on the ground goes not well but you should not let that get you down well that's that's the spirit I hope things go better all right mammon is dead sort of but the big fat pig dissolved and something came out of him there's Sawyer again I guess I should go back to the cave Maybe? Not much has really changed here. Or maybe I should go back to the castle. Fort Worth, that is. that device that summoned him is down there in the castle. Maybe I gotta do something with that. Uh, let's go talk to everybody at the beach. And who elected Sawyer Czar anyway? Except I guess you don't elect czars, do you? Or is everybody just back in town now? I don't know. Let's go check out the cave anyway. Ugh, picked one up.
Yes, I know. My cream puffs are jiggling. How many do I have? A lot. Several. Oh, they hurt. They hurt so bad. I died. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't break anything. Cowboy. I must say, I've never quite been quite so glad to see you. I'm afraid I have come to a terrible realization. Perhaps too late. Wait right there. Charles, I don't... I haven't told any... Okay, this is Charles speaking. <laughs> I haven't told anyone yet, but a little while ago, Marlin disappeared. Have you defeated that abominable pig? What's going on? Explain to Charles about the battle and the pig, the robot mammon that emerged, and the installation of Sawyer as Czar. Charles calls town me. Indeed, this is grim news, sirs. Although the monster pig has been slain by our cowboy, it seems he to have survived it as a machine. Perhaps that is true. Is it perhaps that is its true, most powerful form. We can't let it stay here. I'm worried about the children. I didn't go check on the children. I forgot. We don't know what that thing, that machine, will do to our town. Who was this Marlin chap anyway? A stranger who we had never met suddenly appears and makes us dig for diamonds. And just as suddenly he disappears? I'm afraid I may have an answer for that. Worse, I may be partly to blame for this particular. Oh, Charles, what have you done? What have you done? Dear Mrs. Mrs. Charles D. Congratulations, your prize will arrive soon. Some time ago, I received a letter in the mail. It was a notice I had won a great prize to be delivered soon. Congratulations. Sure enough, the package soon arrived. It was delivered by the Cycloptic Purple Beings, bandits, who offered to help me industrialize. Eagerly, I took them up on their offer and with their help set up an assembly line. And I could produce more chicken cutlets than ever before. The prize they delivered was a large, complex machine, which I have kept in my cave. The automobile car. The manual included said it could carry a person to any place in no time at all, so long as it was fed the substance called gasoline. So weird. I resolved to find this gasoline at any cost and return it to my own home. I first hoped to produce gasoline from plastic, which exists in small amounts in the garbage mines. It exists in large amounts. It was then that I made a terrible mistake. Of course, just then you made a mistake. I approached Sawyer to work in the mines for me. Thought he would be willing to take on some difficult work in order to help improve his situation. Our boy, you know he's gone missing. And you wait until now to tell us this? I didn't tell you because he declined to help me, or so I thought. A few days after he said no, another boy showed up and offered it. He said his name was Tucky, and that he was new to the area looking for work. I agreed to pay him a set price per pound for plastic so I could produce gasoline. Who the heck's Tucky? I now realize Tucky was Sawyer all along. He's been running a small shop in the garbage mine collecting plastic for me. Oh, okay, so that's who that was. I just don't know what to say. Sawyer's been working for you without us knowing? Andy hangs around the fields all freaking day, yet he still has time to go work in the garbage mines? I'm afraid it is even somewhat worse. Recently, the tables were turned on me. I began to suspect something when a third boy showed up shortly after the monstrous pig began our most recent catastrophe. He said he needed an overseer for his mining business. He must be Marlin. We've never seen him. How are thou, friends? I'm doing pretty well. I'm a little tired, but it's been the way it is all weekend, really. Never been very far away. In fact, he's always just out of sight. I knew by then that you had been captured, though I was still free. At last I realized Sawyer, Tucky, and yes, Marlin were all the same. Why? It doesn't make any sense. I don't believe any of this. 
I told him I wouldn't help. Martin forced the issue. This was when Cowboy here returned. And I realized he needed an overseer. Because you would surely recognize him if he tried to manage things himself. I suppose he thought he could manipulate me with money. I wish we weren't he weren't so close to being right. Never our own son selling us out like this, unthinkable. Un inconceivable. It is proven. Cowboy here has just confirmed my theory. Sawyer is now sitting in the fortress, claiming to be the new Czar of Strange. <laughs> Geared. <laughs> of course. This is some fucked up shit, yo. Uh, yeah. Nicely put, Holmes. Yes, everyone, that's my husband. <laughs> All right, let's get out of this death trap of mine and back to our families. We can hide out in the cave system underneath town. It's well stocked at least. It's got you're you're lucky I didn't clean you out of all that chicken gruel and put it somewhere inconvenient. I agree, but we won't be safe until someone can find a way to deal with mammon properly. Okay, guess we're not real close to the end after all. It would seem we have all quite come to depend on you, cowboy. Residents of Strange left the diamond mine, eager to return to their children. Pretty sure I already grabbed this. I'm gonna take it. Just in case. All I want to do is touch it. I don't want to keep it. There's nothing back here. My goodness. So can I just have all the silver bullets I want now? All I want to do is touch it. No. I can buy silver bullets. There ain't nobody here to buy them from. Take. Hey, you don't have enough cash with you to buy this. You don't seem to understand. I don't want to buy it. I just want to take it. Steal? No, no, no. It's an adventure RPG game. There's no stealing. Things lying around are free to take. That's the law. Borrow? No, they become mine. You know, that horse wanted us to get rid of the aliens. Let's talk to the horse. <laughs> okay, the meteors are still falling, even though I got rid of the pig. Until this meteor shower ends, I'm stuck in here with them. Okay. Whoa. Look out. Them's the cows. The moo moos. Gosh, so annoying. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he's still not happy. So I guess everybody's living underground while there's a meteor shower going on. Come on, cream puffs, jiggle off, jiggle free. There you go. There you go. Okay, no 
nobody here. They're over there. So I guess I gotta go to Fort Worth now? Yeah, talk to the horse. We've talked to the horse before. He may not have been here when we've talked to the horse. Oh, the boy's gone, gone, gone. Oh, I've been such a fool. Byron says he will go and look for him. Can he manage that? We are powerless against that monster. I don't want to lose them both. Memon has worked something evil against my family. Mozart book? I don't even know if I still have the Mozart book. I ain't got that shit no more. So maybe we'll go check it out again. I'm sure you know something terrible has happened. Yeah, I know. I'm not talking about whatever catastrophe is outside. I hardly care anymore. Our son Sawyer has been controlled. I don't care what Charles says. Sawyer was not acting alone. That monster Mamming has captured him in soul, if not in body. Nasty old mammon. Capturing everybody with greed. Oh, excuse me. Sorry to bother you. He's sleeping. Emerald sits up, half asleep. There's a bed upstairs, okay. Uh, okay. I guess we go to Fort Worth, maybe? I guess. Maybe. I guess. I don't want to be here. Charles and these two are sleeping in that bed. Okay, Charles, what's up? Hello. I really do not mind hiding out here. <clears throat> I've been a cave dweller for some time already. For the time being, I'm forgetting about my operations. I doubt my workforce would be very helpful anymore. No, they're all those one-eyed purple bandits. Also... A bunch of these things in my way. Stuff going on over here. Listen, I've been ordered to open the gate. If you want, you can visit your friend. You still get into the dungeon through the back hall near the kitchen. Zartan stuff. Old gnarly wizard dude. I know him. I know him. Alright, now. Where's that stairway? There's Sawyer. There's Mammon. Mammon doesn't seem to care I'm here. Alright. Wait, where did you say it was? I can't... Through the back hall near the kitchen. Through the back hall. Near the kitchen. 
Is is this the kitchen? This goes up. Nothing in here I care about. And Mammon is clipping through the ceiling. That's cool. Alright, let's look carefully for these stairs. What's this? Oh, here it is. So, this is a kitchen, apparently. Whatever. Pile of rubble is gone now. Uh, just, 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 just shoot. Okay, then. All right, I think I need to go back this way. Also, all right, step all over these sleeping people. What's this book? Did I ever look at that? Angel Scrubs extra mop based combat. Oh, I get it. Okay. Once you have mastered your mop, you may deflect any kind of bullet through a spin move. Speed will give you the upper hand on any gunslingers who think to use shotguns or other large munitions. You must be aware of one thing the gunslinger owning a pistol will catch you when you pause for a breath. In retrospect, I wish I had read that before I fought those mop wielders. But I got it done with my shotgun anyway. Boy, vey, he's done cowboy. <laughs> I take. What's this happened in the town? Matilda and Carrie have disappeared again. Teleprompter trade. For men, you must follow them. Activate teleprompter once more. Find their event. A blue key. It's a sapphire key. Laboratory behind cupboard over there. Take the way back through the laboratory, but be careful. Okay. Through the cupboard. Over there. This cupboard? This cupboard. Okay. Good job. Alright. What do you say? Oh god, please just select the sign. Octung! Uh, what? Ion is certain then strawling keep out. Hamster help. What does this say? It's just, does it say radiation? <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good. Let's go back this way. Watch out, ionizing rays. Okay, thank you, hamster. Where does this go? Look at the size of that lizard. Alright, big surprise. That hurts us. Understanding German is but one of Hamster's many talents.
Okay, that gas really hurt. Like a lot. Where the heck are we? No, 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 I don't like that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. What the heck? Scanner. Scan these pants. You place the proper pants on the scan. Machine's operation is completely silent. Scan complete. No quarks detected. Radioactivity within the printer's EPA safety recommendations. Move. Pants. Alright, the pants are safe. What? Oh, there's another. Take the swearing vengeance. Put it back. Okay, good. You touched it. I already, already have that. What's this? Red snow frog. Let's read the red snow frog. <laughs> what? The markings on the frog look like this. There's a book here on golds. Preamble. In our experimentation on radioactive charge, we have found the element tungsten to be of great use. Uh, this element has the capability of focusing and reflecting radions, so it can be used as a shield or radioactive amplifier. Fortunately, we have found that this found that in certain cases a sample of tungsten may self-animate to wit golemize. These golems are described herein as dealing with them has become a regular part of lab maintenance. Turtles. Any of these golems touch much more to their overall shape than any specific behaviors. Previous to weapons or tools of any kind, the turtle golem does have more weakness. We have found that by sneaking up behind one creature, one may safely jump on top of it. It seems to cause the creature some form of internal distress and will often even cause one to collapse. Now we are able to recover the original metal sample from the remains, so this process of turtle jumping has become routine. It not resemble something metallic crocodile. They are terrible nuisance as they, like all other golems, are in purpose to I have not yet found a way to destroy one. They're not very common, and so are best avoided. Zomgod. The G? I guess it's a G. During a botched experiment with ion jets and a very large quantity of snow frogs, totem like creator was creature was created. We have renamed the creature Zomgod. Fatal doses of gamma radiation, anyone who will approach it. Fortunately, it is completely immobile. We have had to close off an entire section of the lab as we simply cannot deal with it. Maybe possible to override the creature's natural radiation in a simple manner to normal ion jet shutoff described in our other volume. It has not been possible to establish any kind of reading of the creature's reactivity, so it is proven an impossible hypothesis to test. Note that the creature has three horns on top of its body, which is also its head. I think we've seen this thing. A well, box. Do not remove sample from laboratory. A. So these are bits of tungsten. I can't take it. Can't, however, drop it. I assume I can carry it. Tungsten, carry it with me. Scan. 
and this. No quirks to take. Okay. That's good. I'm glad. What does this book say? Laser powered ion jets and their effect on phosphorus snow frogs. Assistant Denver Tuckins. Hmm. Our latest line of tests has centered around three things radioactive charges, ion jets, and snow frogs. Perfected a laser powered ion jet that can produce near limitless steam of energy in the form of nuclear fusion. Hope to use it to power entertainment devices that emit flashing lights and sound. The ion stream could be directed towards certain phosphoric semiconductors that would emit controlled shapes. Jets turned out to be only work in the proximity of this case natural radioactive. Moreover, they have proven to be naturally unstable, sensitive, in the extreme to the natural balance of radiation that runs through this cave. Our current research is into the properties of this natural radiation. Hmm. Nuclear radiation is made up of radions split into three parts, or quarks, rot, green, and blau. Red, green, and blue. Okay, got it. Uh, up here, red, green, green, and blau, or blue. Okay, got it. Each radion can be made up of any number of these quarks, up to three. Radion may measure 2R1G0 blue, or 1R0 green, 1 blue, and so on. The quarkal composition of the radion determines its apparent color, but doesn't we lack a theory to predict this? Hot spring and the phosphoric snowflakes. Uh, Kate Leah built on our lab in has a natural radiation transposed ported by veins of water culminating in a natural hot spring. Bathing in this hot spring is very rejuvenating, although we are uncertain as the long term health effects of doing so type of snow frog has developed evolved to hibernate of their in, here in several varieties each temper to accumulate a certain radion to the exclusion of others These frogs develop a radioactive charge and so affects their coloration and that placing these frogs in the natural hot spring causes them to excrete their excess radions which in turn disperses throughout the cave to affect this radiation this radiation and that the cave can accumulate the radions from at least, at most, two frogs at a time. The cave seems to have a limited capacity of absorption. Hmm. So we're gonna have to do a f colored frog puzzle. Placing a frog of 2R and a frog of one of each will cause the cave's radiation choice to be 3 1 1. Simple arithmetic addition of the quarks produces predictable results. Okay. Adding a third frog will push the first frog's radions out of the cave system, as you do. Given, giving the cave a radioactive charge of right. Okay, got it. Right. Finally, we have created and installed a device to assist in experimentation, which will drain all excess radions from the cave system. This device may be activated by pushing the red button located next to the hot spring. So you can reset the puzzle. Got it. Our invention of the ion jet works by filtering the cave's natural radiation through a crystal made of ruby, emerald, or topaz to produce red, green, or blue radons, respectively. Now imagine this is zero escape. Right now it's feeling very zero escaping. Except just with a little less grunting. These jets have been constructed in several stable configurations. The greatest challenge has so far been to avoid quantum cancellation effects described in the previous section. For instance, a jet set to filter all but two, two, and one will cease to produce an energy stream of the case radioactive charge is set to one, one, two, or higher. I did not understand this sentence at all. A jet set to filter all but two, two, one will cease to produce an energy stream if the K's radio structure is set to 1, 1, 2, or higher. Okay. Okay. 
equals so two two one 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 two equals jet shutoff. So if we get all three values to three, we shut off the jets. That's what I'm gathering. It represents a formidable technical challenge for the future useless usefulness of these is energy producers producers words. Uh, da, da, da. The natural radioactivity in most places on Earth is highly volatile. Our research, although not entirely fruitless, has yet not enabled us to produce an ion jet or perform reliably in all circumstances. Natural radioactivity this escape, together with the availability of phosphor and snow frogs, has however enabled us to reliably experiment with the combinatorial aspects of radiation quark theory and produce predictable results. In our quest to produce the ultimate entertainment device, we may abandon this line of research and instead pursue technology based on luminescent conducting diodes, as this seems a simpler approach. Okay, so if I were to take a frog... And carry it over here. Put it on this thing. It will give us a rating of the frog. Outside parameters, EPA safety recommendations. Let's just take our little frog friend. Put him back where we found him. So let's put those things away, and I don't think we need this anymore. Although you never know, so whatever. Garble, garble, intercom. <laughs> So we gotta find a way to turn off these jets. And we do it via frog manipulation? So are, are these the turtles? I think these are the turtles. may absorb quarks. Okay. okay. We got a little too close to the alligator thing. Please let me move. Okay. <laughs> Don't get close to those. Oh dear. What have I done? So what if I drop a frog in the spa? I don't know. I assume the frog dissolves. But I also assume that we need other frogs. And this is... That other thing it was talking about. Thing with the three horns. Okay. So I wonder. I had a whole stack of frogs though. Yeah, I think we need frogs of another color. Also, I'm not sure I'm in the right place right now. There's a whole nother area that we need to look at.
three by three grid shows what jets are on or off. I think I know what you're talking about because I think I had kind of the same idea. This thing here, except that's a three by four. Or are you talking about this? <coughs> um, we'll get into frog experimentation here in a few moments. I want to go check out that other area right quick. Okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about too, but it's, it's a 4x4 four four area. Or a three by four, right? You're confusing the hell out of me, hamster. Okay, kind of what I figured. It's boomerang time. Okay, where's my gun? Oh, nice. They have shields. Perfect. So there's another path here. Oh, I do so love the barred paths in this game. <laughs> Are the boomerangs your shield? I don't know. Okay, my gun is not wielded. seem to be hurting them, whether they got the shield or not. Couple more. Ah, 
Got him. Oh, what's this? A thing. Geiger counter. Take the Geiger counter and put it in your pack. Let's take it. All right, let's see. Uh, this is my shotgun. Is it? Yep. Let's take a look at this. Portal device can detect alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. Okay, I already did that. Turn the Geiger counter off. Turn it back on. I don't know what good that's going to do us. Alright, they don't like those. Alright. I don't know what good that did us, but we got it. Let's make note of the color of these. See, this looks white to me. But I, I'm thinking this is supposed to be blue. And this is supposed to be green. And what was down here? I forgot already. Oh, right. A closed door, just like everywhere else. Alright, now we're back up here. We're back down here, rather. Same colors to top of the rocks. Whitish purple, tealy blue, rock gray. I'm sure glad we picked up this thing that makes a lot of noise now. That makes everything so much better. Alright, let's take a look at these frogs. Scan a frog. Is this frog scan the same as the other one? Yes. position three frogs I'm betting they're all one R zero zero frogs Combine frogs somehow? There's also upstairs? I ran right into that. What upstairs? Where? Those are stairs. God. Okay. Who are you? Carl. Okay. What's your job? Web assistant robot. Okay. I assist in the purchasing of snow frogs. I also purchased tungsten alloys. Take no tungsten alloys present, right? Okay. What are these? Green jello. Done. Whoa, look at this. Look at this guy. King of snow frogs. 
Wishing to pay homage may purchase snow frogs in this honor. Snow frogs subject to availability with proceeds to the upkeep of the frog kingdom. Okay. Alright, we got our handy dandy ATM here. We can see. Okay, we got this open. This goes up to where we were earlier. Okay, good, good. That's one gate open. I don't know how long it would have taken me to see this. Everything, everything looks the same. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna drop some of these frogs here. I'm gonna grab this tungsten. Let's see what he buys this stuff for. Thanks. Purchase price has been programmed at 34 bucks per cent. Deal. Thank you so much. I want to purchase some green jello. What do frogs even taste like? Now, I've had frog. <laughs> Tastes like chicken, being honest. I know that's the joke, but... It was just like scrawny chicken. Uh, job. Right. Fuck off. Okay, I don't talk to you. I don't actually talk to you to buy a frog. I just buy a frog here. I'm assuming these are the same as all the other snow frogs. Red snow frogs are one, zero, zero. But let's buy one and make sure. Okay. They all taste like chicken. Especially the chickens. Scan first the frog. Okay. Frogs you buy are the same as all the other frogs. What color frog did I have though? I don't know. It was it was presented to me and cooked already, so uh no quartz take radio. Okay, so green jello is not radioactive. So I don't know what to do with the jello. Hopefully I won't need this anymore. Alright. Let's, let's take a frog. Take another frog. What's the jello? I don't know. I don't know what to do with the jello yet. Drop a frog. Let's drop the snow frog into the magical pool. It changes color. The pool changes color. Drop this one. So this turned off. The green turned off. Well, it's still on here.
Why? Oh god. The walkie is not as simple as it looks. I can't go anywhere here, so let's go elsewhere. Is there anything past the geyser that turned off? Down here? I don't think so. As far as I know, I could walk around that stuff anyway. This resets the spa. According to the book. I mean, we could have got back here anyway. There's nothing back here. We could have just climbed over this to get back here. Yeah, that's where I was headed. To the upper part. The stairs? Oh, well. Whatever. It's fine. I got there. <laughs> These should be off over here. Okay. Now we get this box. Now we have access to green frogs. I don't know that it's that much quicker. So does he sell us green frogs now? Ah, yeah, he does. Okay, good. I wish to purchase a green frog. I think we need to reset it. Because it says it pushes the old frog juice out as you put new frog juice in. So let's try it out. What do we got now? This one's off. What has that done for us? This. What in the balls is this? This is Block, a game pack for the 26X video game machine. Okay. Guess we'll need that sooner or later. We put in the whole frog or we squeeze it out. I assume we put the whole frog in there and it just dissolves. Okay, this is off now. I assume we'll find blue frogs in here somewhere. These are new bats. Uh... These bats, some don't seem to be deterred. Oh my god, they breathe fire. Just on the lock. Nope. Nope. Okay. I don't got a key for it.
Oh, they did not like me doing that at all. Oh, there's a key right here. Holy cow. Okay, get me out of here for just a second. Just a second. I got inventory space. No, not this key. This key. Come on. Oh, please. Oh god, just give me two seconds to open the box, please. <laughs> Alright, shotgun does nothing. Frog. Now let me get out of here. Jeez. Okay. What's down here? More blocked pathways, maybe? Yep. Okay, that's behind the lab. At least we know how to get to that now. Okay. That is a thing. Okay. Seventy-four bucks left. Check out this green frog. Okay, as expected, it is a one-value green frog. Let's check this out. Okay. Perfectly safe video game cartridge. There's a one blue frog, as expected. All right, well, we got ourselves a frog puzzle to figure out for next time. It's hot, man. It is hot. Okay, I've tangled up this thing. Alright, let's pick this back up next week. Or I don't know that we're as close to the end of this game as I thought I was. Apparently Pig Mammon is not the last boss. I guess Machine Mammon and or Sawyer is the last boss. But we gotta figure out these frogs in the meantime. So we'll work on that next time. Until then, thanks everybody for hanging out. We're gonna go hang out with Rose for a little bit. And I'm sure she's gonna send us to. She's gonna send us to snow whenever she's done, I'm sure. But anyway, thanks everybody. Y'all have a good evening. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Yeah, they're like bullion frogs. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye.